Hello, my gorgeous Leo Pride, and welcome to January 2021 and the beginning of a new year. And it's always interesting to figure out where to begin to talk about a new year, a new energetic cycle with Saturn and Jupiter and our opposing sign of Aquarius, of talking about what we do now that Mars is leaving Aries this month on the 6th and moving into Taurus. And Uranus is going direct again in Taurus. And here we are. What do we do with this big, bold year ahead? Well, first of all, we don't want to get too in our heads about that. So I'll just say that right now. You know, it can be very uh, kind of overwhelming, like, oh my gosh, I need to have figured out how to work with this energy already. And that is not the case at all. It's an ongoing process. In January, we're just little baby beginners figuring out our footing within the context of this whole big puzzle. So that's my number one uh, thing to contribute at this very moment. And Leo, let's be real, right? Like we have a lot of energy this month in the opposing sign of Aquarius. So Jupiter and Saturn are gonna be there all year. Um, and Saturn will be there until March, 2023, I believe. And we are gonna have Mercury moving into Aquarius. And by the end of the month, starting a retrograde, uh, we are gonna have the sun moving into Aquarius. We're also gonna have a full moon in Leo during Aquarius season. So this is pretty personal energy this month. You know, sometimes it's about these different houses and you know, different aspects of our life and you know, money or, or home, or, and those are big things too. But this is about our relationship to ourselves. And I am, I am Leo, so I'm gonna say that. And relationship to others, the relationship and how we're building into those. And you know, this is really essentially the most human and essential core part of being in this life, right? These, these things are kind of what make all the other pieces have meaning. So it is personal, but here's the thing. I do not feel that dread and that heaviness that sometimes comes if you just do a Google search of what happens for Leo's when this energy is in Aquarius. Oh, you're gonna be tired. You're gonna feel bad. And we, I mentioned this in December, but I really wanna keep having this conversation. So for me, that's a really big misuse of understanding energy um, and when people talk about it like that. And it's important to understand that what's happening here is building something of value and meaning. And that is a relentless process that asks us to be deeply honest all the time. And initially that sounds like a really scary thing, but here's the thing. Once you get into the habit of just being honest with that, life actually gets a lot easier. <laughs> easier in the sense that it you're no longer self-betraying, you're no longer forcing yourself into scenarios and conversations that don't feel good. So there's power in this. And once again, you're not being asked to swallow the whole pill this month. It's This is something, it's a process that we'll be working with for months and months to come. So there's no rush here. Now here's the message that came through and I will start to shuffle here as I felt through this month, this personal month, with this full moon in Leo and all this mirror season action going on under the posing sign of Aquarius. First of all, listen and watch to the quiet spaces. Watch the quiet spaces in your life and watch yourself within them. That's really useful this month because it'll help you get a sense of where you are in the landscape at this time and how you've changed. But here's the other thing that's really interesting. And this is kind of a note for all of January. You know how like we, we grow up and there's, there are people who are doing jobs like um, the person who cleans your teeth and the person who helps you at the office. And then there are points um, in your life where suddenly like you're the same age as that person or like that person is your friend or you're even the one doing the job that you used to be like, oh, that's an adult who does it back when you're like six year old, right? There's something similar happening for Leos here in life. It's kind of like, you know, you always look at somebody else who's doing that beautiful thing or saying those beautiful things and you're like, oh, that's something that those people do. But I'm just little old me. 
you know, even if you're doing really cool things, you're kind of like, oh yeah, but you know, I'm just kind of doing my thing here. Oh, I'm getting shivers as I'm talking about this. <laughs> the, you are that person, right? Like those roles that you think of as somebody else that, oh, it'd be really cool to be that one day or to act like that one day or to embody that one day. It's like, you are that person. And it's like part of what's gonna be happening. And that's individual for everybody, right? Like that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like that that thought, that desire, whatever. It's like, you always think of it, oh, it's over there. Like that, that's what that is. You are that. All of this year is gonna be one giant remembering of that and coming into that. Two cards wanted to come out. Ace of Pentacles in the world, yep. Makes sense, makes sense. And I don't know, like that remembering that over and over again and it really being pretty relentless, that is a little intimidating, right? Because sometimes we wanna forget. Sometimes we just wanna like sit down on the couch and um, kinda hide ourselves from the world, which believe me, sounds great. <laughs> and it's important to do that recharge, but you know what I mean. It's when you know that you it's in time to share your voice or your gift or something beautiful and your authentic self that is the most vulnerable thing you can do so yeah having that be like the big theme all year yeah a little scary maybe you will feel a little tired sometimes maybe you will feel a little bit intimidated and the sun i love it i'm pulling three cards from my classic tarot my classic writer wait and I'm gonna pull one card from my cosmic tarot for our overarching message but it's big energy you guys and even as I'm sitting here you know I of course I sit around thinking about this stuff a lot and even even though that's true like truly I think about this every single day like this is what I work with I'm sitting here and I'm realizing like I haven't even taken in it's just my own individual little self <laughs> I'm even talking about myself in the way that I said is how we're gonna be getting edited with, but uh, how big this year is, this coming year. Like how much it is going to be a very powerful, very empowering year. I think it's funny too, you know, culturally, we watch a lot of movies in our culture, a lot of shows. And those shows often show that when somebody is coming into their, their fullness of being, I mean, not always, but that they're just feeling empowered and strong. But I guess it's kind of like uh, the classic train videos where there's always like the training montages and the person who is training to become that master or whatever, they're like getting, you know, smacked down, <laughs> falling down on the ground, failing, doing really, like not being able to do the thing and feeling really, um, frustrated and I think actually that's how vulnerability feels when we're fully stepping into ourselves there are just days where you just feel like that character in a movie who is having the master train them two of wands two of wands oh my gosh these cards are just so warm and vibrant and like golden which if you're doing a Leo reading and there's golden energy you know you're somewhere powerful because that's that's connecting in. <sighs> okay, Ace of Pentacles. New energetic chapter beginning. Now, there's a lot of energy electrifying things for fixed signs. So we have all that energy in Aquarius, which is obviously going to be pretty big deal for Aquarians and Leos alike. We also have Uranus going direct in Taurus and Mars going direct in Taurus. And that, especially if you're a Leo rising, is 10th house who you are in the world, legacy building energy, and it is electrifying, right? Taurus energy right now is getting like lit up. So if you have Taurus in your chart, it's one of the places where stuff is happening <laughs> in big, big, bold, beautiful ways. So this Ace of Pentacles speaks to that. And, you know, January, it's a really great month to sit down and get visionary where you want to put your investments energetically more than anything. <sighs> is just so big there's also a graduation for me the world is always about graduating to the next phase in life the next identity the next part of ourselves i found for myself through the years that 
I keep meeting myself anew and I get these little like previews a few years ahead actually of like the self I'm more like meeting. It's like I meet her. She comes to meet me. And then over the course of those two or three years, it's like I slowly I'm blossom into that. And then there's one day where I realized that that's who I am now. And then so that's all the kind of things that are happening in January. There's these big full circle moments. And the, it's an important month to kind of just get connected with that blossoming that's starting to happen from within. As with all world energy, it's also a time to just come to peace with who you no longer are, right? Like where you have graduated from. What won't go back to being the same ever again? that's pretty big and it can be a little bittersweet sometimes sometimes it's just awesome and sometimes it's just bittersweet but these are big it's like forward motion that's relentlessly opening us up right it's so fun it's beautiful but it also means like we don't get to go back and just tiptoe back to where we were right and so it's important to in to internalize that a little bit and find some peace and joy in that. Um, And the sun, the sun, you know, it's the message here with the sun, I think so often is, and especially today in this conversation, you know, you may always be looking around for all the things you need to like collect and be and pretend to be and like be looking everywhere else for the gifts that you want to bring to the world other than the the gifts that you already have with you. Now, that's not to say you can't refine your craft or practice into it, build into it. That is, you know, the practice of life is all these little practices we do to, to become more full of depth and understanding and connection and, and, and talent too. Right. But there's also things we're already working with that we just look over we just say oh yeah yeah well that's not really that good so i'm just gonna go over here and like i'm gonna go look over there it's here you keep looking over there you keep looking at all these other people but it's here it's not out there and that's gonna be the biggest thing with saturn and aquarius right now overarching message from my cosmic tarot is two of wands and this is one of my favorite cards um because this is that really juicy place and january in so many ways is like this it's like january not everything's gonna move all fast and be done and clarified right it's we're at the beginning of a process of that happening more and more compared to 2020 but january isn't the month that it's the clearest but it's important to like start to you know but you you can start to feel the wishes that are coming out of you you can start to feel the visions that are coming out of you you may even feel less blockage around really wanting those things and feeling connected to them again and that's two of wands is being able to stand at that doorway in faith and um, clarity and keep standing at that doorway and keep putting that energy out there so that it can boomerang out and meet you back here in as the months unfold and open so two of wands is a kind of a reminder too that yeah this is a new energetic cycle and you are you are fire leo come on what can i say this is looking good you also have a little bit of waiting a little bit of dreaming a little bit of initiation that will be ongoing in the coming months to welcome more So don't feel that you have to fry your circuits out in this month because this message just keeps coming up and again and again. Um, Working with Aquarian energy is a little electrical, it's a little staticky, and it can be um, frazzling if it's not your native energy or you haven't had quite a bit of practice working with it. And um, I mean, to be honest, like I love Aquarian energy, but I, I haven't worked with it consistently recently it it takes a little bit of getting used to and it's important not to fry your circuits with just feeling electrified all the time so remember that this month as well 
I have a new year blessing for you just to take with you and work with this month. So here it is. May your heart feel warm and speak to you every day. May you be surrounded by loving relationships and an ineffable sense of knowing. May you shine softly, warmly, and from your own special hearth inside. This is a powerful time for Leos, uh, I won't lie. It really is, and it does ask for total authenticity and um, belief in self. And that's not like, you know, there's that whole cliche thing with Leo's about being really into ourselves and just being like, hmm, I'm the best. No, but you know what I mean when it's like belief in self is something that is so authentic and grounded where it's just like, I know I can trust myself. I know I can make wise, strong decisions for myself that honor who I am, honor other people's humanity and also set healthy boundaries for me. That kind of self value is magnetic, powerful, and gives others permission to live in that modality as well, which we need more and more of in this world. So it's important. It's important. This is not something to just belittle and like shrug, shrug off like it so often is. This is extremely important. You know, Leo is an leader energy. And it's energy that asks those of us with that heart energy to, you know, constantly unfold into more beautiful shapes. So it's big. It's a big destiny, right? But it's also beautiful. I hope you take such good care of yourselves in January. I love what I saw here today. I love this conversation. It's so exciting to see this kind of energy emanating from the Leo family. Take such good care of yourselves in January. I will talk to you in February for more, I'm sure, adventure in Aquarius season and during Mercury retrograde. We'll see how my technology holds up with that because I tell you all, like, already with this Aquarian energy, I am just, things are just like frying out and going crazy around me and I'm just having to like try and keep everything <laughs> calm so uh, we'll see how that goes but i'll see i'll talk to you all very soon you can find me on patreon where i'll be doing all the extra discussions we're gonna get really cozy in january and just snuggle up together and talk and um, you can also find me on instagram at my website and you of course can find pink loon's gorgeous jewelry on her etsy shop i'll leave all of the links below have a beautiful january and i'll talk to you soon my beautiful leo family